I think I might have just found the solution to all of our problems. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Dana and if you haven't seen my previous video, pause this one and go check that one out first because we learned so much valuable information about the vitamin C treatment. We'll call that the part one of this video. This is the part two of the video. We're going to be leaving the vitamin C treatment on my damaged hair for eight hours. If that sounds interesting, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I do crap like this on my hair all the freaking time. I'm going to wet down my hair really quick. That way it's easier to saturate and there's a little bit of moisture in there because it's going to be in there for eight hours. So I'm super scared. I know my hair is about to be hella dry. I'm just gonna get really lazy with this today because we all know how the vitamin C treatment works and I've learned to put a towel down underneath of me because I make a huge mess and it's a lot easier to clean up if I just put a towel under me. I chose the Kroger tablets because I found that those ones work the best if you watched my other video. It's like 8 p.m. now so I didn't think this one through. I'm gonna have to wake up in the middle of the night to wash this one out. I went on Amazon and I got some goodies. I bought this flax seed heating cap because I am a very active person. I cannot sit down for longer than 45 minutes. So this one is like a heating pad that you get for your neck or your shoulders. You just throw it in the microwave and it stays warm for like half an hour. So while I'm awake, I'm gonna let this be on there. That way I can like reheat it when it starts to cool down. But after that, when I go to sleep, I will put a heating pad over it and wrap it in a towel. We'll see if I have hair in eight hours or not. It's 4.20 in the morning. So if I sound dead, it's because I am. I'm seeing a little bit of purple. Take this last one off and hope I still have hair. That's a lot of purple. I'm gonna rinse this out with hot water and dry it so you guys can see what it looks like before I wet it back down for the moisturizer. I don't know how, but my hair doesn't feel nearly as damaged as what it does if I do multiple treatments. It is a little bit dry. I didn't lose any extra hair. The cap did slide off up here when I was asleep. So the heat didn't stay in up there. It's fine. The purpose of this was to see if my hair would fall out and it didn't, so I'm happy. I'm gonna go back to bed. I'm a little bit more awake now. Because I was so dead, I forgot to mention the state of my scalp. So it's dry, but it's definitely not damaged like when I did the five vitamin C treatments in one day. That definitely hurt and my scalp literally scabbed from it because it was that rough on my scalp. So. That being said, if you have a more sensitive scalp, I definitely wouldn't recommend eight hours. I'd say probably four hours, cause like my ears, that's probably the most sensitive part. Like this raw part right here, where the heating cap and the shower cap was sitting, just rubbing on there, plus the heat, plus the soap. That irritated my ear for sure. Today, we're gonna be using the Redken Extreme Bleach Recovery Line. I have tried the Sika Cream before a couple months back and I was super, super impressed with it and that's why I originally tried the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, after a couple days, my hair felt so brittle. It did say on the back of the bottle to avoid sun exposure for the first couple weeks of using it. I can't do that, so maybe that's why. It says it's for all hair types. It didn't work for me. We're gonna try this Redken Extreme Bleach Recovery. There's three steps to this line. There's the shampoo. I know I'm gonna say this wrong. Lemon, bleh. That, I can't say it. And the Sika Cream. First step is the shampoo. We know what we do when we shampoo. We do it on wet hair. Looks like a shampoo. The shampoo itself is like blue. It kind of smells like roses or peaches. Some kind of like very gentle floral scent maybe. I don't know. It's a very pleasant smell. This is lathering very, very easily. Look at this foam though. It feels so good on my hair. I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'll come back and do the step two with you guys. When I was rinsing out that shampoo, it definitely didn't feel the same as other shampoos. Super, super thick. If you've ever washed Dawn dish soap out of your hair and you like keep washing it and keep washing it, you hear the soap still in it. That's how this shampoo is. I literally rinsed it for about three minutes and I can still hear it in there. But I'm gonna rinse it out again after we do step two, so I'm just gonna leave it in and we're gonna move on. Step two is the lamellar water. After the shampoo, it says to wring out your hair. Use one to four doses on the mids to ends, and doses are 10 milliliters each and the bottle is labeled, so that's nice if you don't have a measuring cup. I do. We're gonna do two doses, so 20 milliliters of this. Wow. 
You know in science class how they tell you not to whiff things? You're supposed to like... Ooh! I need to learn that lesson again because that was straight huffing, rubbing alcohol. This does not smell the same as the shampoo. Ooh, I about knocked myself out. I don't know how to apply this really because it's water. It definitely smells a lot better going on your hair. Well, ow, that splashed in my eye. Hopefully we're okay. I don't want to tug on my hair too much. It's not severely damaged right now. It's wet, so it's more fragile. It doesn't say to keep in. We'll go rinse this out. You guys, my hair. That was on there for like two, three minutes and it felt like I just did a 45 minute deep conditioning mask when I was rinsing out my hair. It feels so freaking smooth and soft and light. And oh my god, I can't wait to see how this dries. I'm super hyped now. I don't want to wait until my hair is damp. I'm just going to beat the crap out of myself until it's damp, I guess. Go ahead and move on to step three because I can already tell you my hair feels so amazing and it's not even dry yet. Let's go, let's go. Consistency, very creamy very light like I remember. The smell is the same as the shampoo and this we're just gonna leave in our hair so we don't want to do too much. I'm focusing this on my mid lengths and ends. I cannot wait to give you guys my final thoughts on this because whew, I'm so ready. I can't even, I, I don't have words. It's so freaking worth it. It doesn't even feel like there's hair on my head. When I was blow drying it, First of all, I didn't use any heat. I just couldn't wait any longer. Even when it was damp, felt like I was brushing through conditioner. There was no tangles at all. I clean out my brush every time I use it and I only lost about 15 hairs compared to the average 40 that I lose when I blow dry my hair. If I could yell at the top of my lungs to everybody on YouTube that this is the best hair healing product there is out there, I would. Please give this a like, hit that share button, do whatever you have to do to spread the word because this is a lifesaver. Let me know when you use this, not if you use this, but when you use this because I want to know how your guys' results are, how your hair heals. I really wish you could feel my hair through this camera. It is, it's so soft. We're on the right track. This doesn't compare to anything. Apple cider vinegar, prismatic glow, super gloss, nothing has ever healed my hair this well, especially in one treatment. I'm so happy I tried this. I don't want to end this video. I'm so freaking happy. Spread the word, spread the word. This is the best. I don't know what else there is to say. Without further ado, remember to keep your heads up and have a great day.